Hello, Pat, boys and girls. Pat, Pat, from Wonderful You. very different but did you know that these both letters make the same sound what sound do these letters make yes qua 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 both of these letters make the same sound even though they are different they are different because this is uppercase q lowercase q now let's go over some words that begin with the letter Q. First, I have quarter, qu qu quarter. My next word is quail, qu qu quail. Question mark, qu qu question mark quilt qu qu quilt and queen qu qu queen and the word quack the duck says quack Nice. Now, do you think you can look around your home and find things that begin with the letter Q? Very nice, boys and girls. Please make sure we keep practicing tracing our letter Qs going over the sound and the letters. Now we will go over our color of the week. What color are we learning this week, boys and girls? Purple. This is our color word, purple. And purple. 
circle begins with the letter P. P. Very nice. Purple begins with the letter P. Let's sing our purple song. If you're wearing purple, raise your hand because we're going to read a book and sing the song about the color purple. P U R P L E, purple, purple. P U R P L E, purple's what that spells. Purple grapes on the vine, purple cool and fine. P U R P L E, purple's what that spells. Beautiful job. Those are all purple. Now let's go over our number of the week. What number are we learning this week, boys and girls? Yes, we are learning the number 13. A one and a three make 13. Now, do you think you can help me count? 13 Easter eggs? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Let's count and make sure we do have 13 Easter eggs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have 13 Easter eggs. What color Easter eggs do you see up here, boys and girls? We have purple Easter eggs, orange, blue, green, and yellow. How many purple Easter eggs do we have? Yes, we only have one purple Easter egg. Now, can you count the orange Easter eggs for me? Yes, we have one, two, three. Three Easter eggs that are orange. Can you count the blue ones for me? Yes, we also have three. One, two, and three. Three blue Easter eggs. How about the green? How many greens do we have? 
Yes, we also have three. One, two, three. Three green Easter eggs. Now, how about yellow? How many yellow do we have, boys and girls? We also have three. One, two, and three. Very nice. So please remember to practice tracing number 13. A one and a three make 13. And please remember to always start at the top and work your way down. Start at the top and you go straight down. Same for the number three. You start at the top, you go around and around for number 13. Very nice. Now, do you think we can make a A, B pattern? What color should we use? Uh, let's use purple and green. Let's start with, let's start with the green. We have green and purple. Now, what color comes next? on our AB pattern. We have green, purple. What is next? Yes, the green. Now we have green, purple, green. What is next on our pattern, boys and girls? Yes, purple. We have green, purple, green, purple, and so on. What color is next on our pattern? Yes, green. So now we have green, purple, green, purple, green, and then purple would be next. Very nice. That is an A, B pattern. It means that we have two different colors. It can be colors, shapes, numbers, anything you can think of, but they have to be different. Very nice. Now, Miss Maria has some ice cream cones. What do you see on my ice cream cones, boys and girls? Yes, Miss Maria has numbers on her ice cream cones. I have the number one, two, three, four, and five. And that means that we need to put that number of ice cream scoops on each ice cream cone. Now, for the number one, how many ice cream scoops do we need? One. We need one ice cream scoop. And Miss Maria is gonna put a vanilla ice cream. Very nice. Now, how many ice cream scoops do you think we need for the number two? Yes, we need two ice cream scoops. And I'm gonna do a purple and a pink one two ice cream scoops. Now, how many do we need for the number three? Yes, we need three ice cream scoops. One, two, three. Three ice cream scoops. Now, moving on, how many ice cream scoops do you think we need for the number four? Yes, very nice. We need four ice cream scoops. Count with me. We have one, two, three, and four. Four ice cream scoops. Now, how many ice cream scoops you think we need for the number five? Yes, we need five ice cream scoops. Please count with me. We have one, 
to three, four, and five. Five ice cream scoops. Good job, boys and girls. Very nice. I like your hard work. So now Miss Maria has a different number that I need your help. What number do you see on my ice cream cone? Yes, that is the number we are learning this weekend. It has a one and a three. That is number 13. Do you think we can count 13 ice cream scoops? Very nice. Thank you for helping me. Let's start. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Let's count to make sure we do have 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13 ice cream scoops on our tiny cone. And what else do you see, boys and girls? Yes, we have a pattern going on. An A, B pattern. We have pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, pink, purple. Pink, purple, pink, and purple will be our next color. Yes, we have an ice cream cone with 13 ice cream scoop, but we also have a pattern going on. We have an A, B pattern. Very nice, boys and girls. Beautiful counting. Thank you for helping me. nice and that is it for today boys and girls i will see you again tomorrow bye bye